Guess what I have for you today. Um, the circuit board is finally soldered up. Um, I have most of the components on there that is that is necessary for the fu for the uh, for functionality. Um, it works just fine. You can see the C two thousand launch pad also on there, sitting on my on my printed circuit board. Um, you will also see the RF module right here on the side, along with the big servo. Um, that's a new addition. You've seen the servo in my previous video, but right now my circuit actually supports it. It can actually supply enough power because I have an updated voltage regulator right there. And of course, finally, I have a DC motor right here, which I'll be using in a second to show you how the motor controller works. Um, and right over here, of course, this should also be familiar to you. Uh, this right here is the remote controller unit. Um, you know, it's still on a breadboard. It doesn't look as pretty as the other board does, but it will once I get to it. Um, that's actually the next step of the project. Uh, it, it will be to create a printed circuit board for this remote controller, which will house the MSP430, the thumb joysticks, and of course, finally, the RF module, which is needed to communicate to the, uh, to the other board. So let me just show you guys how this works. Um, again, as I mentioned, the servo is a very big servo. It pulls a lot of power and current, and my power supply right there is not, unfortunately, power en powerful enough to supply enough current to my circuit, so it creates a lot of voltage sag. But it's enough to, but it's enough to actually um, to at least to at least prove that my circuit works. So I'm just gonna play around with the thumb joystick over here, and I just want you and I just want you to watch the servo spinning from side to side. As you can see, um, it is much quicker. It has a much faster response time compared to the to the uh, to the smaller blue servo that I have here. Um, but in return, of course, it pulls a lot more current. But this is exactly what I need to use in my car because I really would like to have that quick and fast response. You know, when I when I when I uh, when I when I apply inputs to my system. And of course, right here is my DC motor. So I'll just do a quick a, a couple of runs here. This is me spinning the motor forward. And if you listen, you can you should be able to hear that I'm varying the power. And let me just show you also that uh, braking the motor also works. As you can see, um, it, it quickly stops. The servo again works just fine. It is much quicker. This is exactly the kind of kind of response time that I would expect from a servo. So it'll be great for my system. Um, I'm really glad you guys are watching this video. Really appreciate it. Please let me know if you have any questions, and I'll be glad to answer them. Thanks.